Rugged stew, but it's a man's life. The first streaks of sun slant down from the hills. Outside you lean to, you pause, and drink in the beauty of the sunshine, and fill your lungs deep with that clean morning air. And shave with cold lake water. Oh, it's exhilarating. <laughs> Cutting your way through wild country, you come to a wilderness trail, worn down under moccasin feet, but still untrampled by the plodding step of civilization. What about it, Stu? A week of rough and tough living will do wonders for you. Keep talking, Fred. You almost have me sold. Ah, boy. <laughs> it's man pitting himself against nature. The mm -hmm. fundamentals of life, existing by the strength of your bare hands, with a knife and an axe to build shelter for your body, and a gun to bring food to your table. Ah, bang! <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Smells like your dinner's burning. Ah, it smells exactly as though Kit Carson, Davy Crockett, or Daniel Boone were cooking. You're in for a rare treat, kid. Come on out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, come on. I'm coming. <laughs> Look out with that knife, will you? That's my man. He may not look at June, but really, he's just like Gable. Rough, tough, and rugged. Ah, this has been a deep crease since last year's camping trip. Last year? Ah, there's only one thing wrong with it. What's that? It should have been cooked, buried in the ground. You can still bag, Mr. Biddy. I guess you never tasted venison, huh, Willie? No, sir. Hungry, Jackie? Starving. And Mr. Billings won't even let me in the kitchen to eat a cracker. Mustn't spoil your appetite. Uh, uh, well, all right now, man, let's give this dinner a real campfire send-off, huh? Put it right there. Come and get it. Come, Come on, Dad. Come on. Betty, I must confess, the idea of this hunting trip frightens me. Oh, nonsense. Fred will bring Stu back a safe and sound man. Ah, it was close to sundown. This fellow was standing on a rock, so it against the sky. It must have been 200 yards. Bang! He dropped. <laughs> yes. Fred, this is wonderful. It's really delicious. My compliments to the hunter and chef. Mmm, it's so different. Fred, you've sold me. You've even sold me on the camping trip. <laughs> what is this, Daddy? A venison, darling. And what's that? Deer meat, and it's very delicious. Oh. Deer meat? Why, yes. You don't expect me to eat Bambi, do you? Bambi? You remember, Daddy. Bambi used to have so much fun with his friends, Thumper and Flower. I've never heard you laugh so hard, Daddy. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, Daddy, how could you? How could I what? Why is everybody staring at me? You don't have to shout, Fred. I'll shout if I want to. Who's Bambi? That's Bambi. And you're in a book, too, Mr. Billings. Bambi's mother called you man. Run to the thicket, Bambi. Run, run. Man is in our forest. Well, this Bambi didn't run fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody want some pork chops? A camping we will go, a camping we will go, hi up. What are you doing, running competition in my store, trying to force me out of business? You see, June, I told you he'd say something like that. <laughs> All that junk back to the store, I'll refund your money. I'll show you what to take. You'll need this, and this, and these. But June, who ever heard of taking rubbers and an umbrella on a camping trip? You know how grumpy you get when you have a cold. You will take them with a be no camping trip. But June, dude, never huh? argue with a woman. Mm -hmm. huh? If you girls are going to drive us to the mountains, you better get ready. Give him his gun, Betty. Huh? Huh? What? Oh. <laughs> yes, thank you. Ah, uh, well, this is the end of civilization. Yeah, well, so long, folks. Have fun, Daddy. And remember your promise. If you see Bambi, leave him alone. Sure, sure. Do be <laughs> careful, dear. Um. Don't worry, June. I'll take good care of him. <laughs> oh, my great, big, wonderful He-Man. <laughs> Goodbye, Betty. Take good care of your mother, Mary. I will, Daddy. Well, lad, let's hit the trail. Here, here we go. Bye. <laughs>
They'd only taken some things like a tent, sleeping bags, and provisions. <laughs> That's not for Fred. It's the bare hands. A gun, a knife, and an axe. Oh, dear. Stu even cuts himself when he sharpens a pencil. Come on, Fred. Let's go. Hey, eager beaver, take it easy. Huh? Can I give you a hand? Yeah, carry this. Oh, sure. <clears throat> Coming? Hey, Stu, huh? be a pal, will you? Carry this. Oh, for sure, Fred. Oh, thanks. Go on. Oh. oh. After this, climbing the Matterhorn would be a cinch. <laughs> Home again. Oh. How do you like it, Stu? Is this it? I've never seen anything like it. Take a look at that lake. It's beautiful, Fred. Beautiful. Well, what do we do first? Build a lean-to? Just relax. But it'll be dark in a little while. You heard me, lad. Relax. You know best, but Shh. listen. I can't hear anything. I guess I'm not used to the sounds of the forest. Quiet. What is it? A wild animal? A bird? Sounds like a loose piston. Loose what? Loose piston on my truck. Truck? Oh. Yeah, here it comes! <laughs> oh, buddy, right there. Fred. Just like you say, Mr. Billington, this is another war. What are you doing here, Willie? Well, yeah, you see, Mr. Irving, uh, being she was going out of town, uh, Mr. Billington here, taking advantage of my availability. But why? What for? How did you get here? There's an old logging road winds up the other side of the mountain. Then why didn't you have the girls drive us right up here? Stuart, when you find Shangri-La, you don't tell anybody about it, particularly your wife. Oh. Come on, lads, we'll set up camp with our bare hands. <laughs> <laughs> bare hands. Oh, thank you, Willie. <laughs> How about dinner, Willie? I just taking the prime ribs out of the deep freeze. Good. We having horse dinovas, avocado pear salad, roast beef, Yorkshire pudding, green beans, and brown potatoes. And dessert? Oh, great Zuzette. I just taking them out of the deep freeze, too. Ah. But Fred, what about those movies you showed me? You know, shooting wild animals, fishing, and things like that. Are you kidding? I buy that film so much a foot. This is the real outdoor living. <laughs> right, lad? <laughs> right, Fred. Shangri-La. <laughs> <sighs> that makes 34 cents you owe me. This is my lucky night. I've been getting good cards, but I can't remember them. I just can't seem to think tonight. Oh, you mean you can't think of anything but Stu? Well, it isn't Stu exactly. It's that axe and that knife and that gun. Oh, don't worry, June. That wonderful He-Man of mine will take care of him. Jackie, what's that? Well, that's my wild animal record, Mommy. <sighs> I thought that laughter was going to make a meal out of me. Are they real animals, Jackie? Yes, Mommy. <laughs> Sure makes you shiver and shake. And I'll be up there where your father is? Oh, no, Mommy. It's called The Voice of Africa. It was made in the jungles. It's on the other side of my bird call record. Mommy. Yes, dear. Back in the covered wagon days, what did the women used to do? Why, they worked very hard, Jackie. And they did everything. Blazed trails, cut down trees. They did everything the men did. Your play, June. I guess that's the price we pay for civilization. What do you mean, dear? Well, take you, Mother. Are you, Mrs. Billings? You're softies. I am not a softie. <laughs> What's so funny about that? Well, I wouldn't call playing cards exactly a rugged life. Jackie. I'm sorry, Mommy. 
<laughs> Children can get the silliest notions. I just had an idea. It sounds like fun. I think they'd like it. Tomorrow at this time, we'll not only be listening to the birds, we'll be seeing the color of their feathers. <laughs> we'll return to the Irwins in just a moment. Irwins. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Willie. How'd you sleep? Like a baby. Never move my head on the pillow. This country does things to you. I left two milks and one cream. How's the butter? Uh, one pound. And eggs? A dozen, I guess. Good. Our, our special today is Tutti Frutti. You better leave two of these. Uh, Mr. Billing was asking for some yogurt. There's some on the truck. I'll bring it right back. Yes. And now here's the list for the night's dinner. Having fried chicken, huh? Yes, sir. I'm unfreezing for them. This roughness sure gives you an appetite. I'll be right back with the yogurt. Yes. Hey, Clem! Come back here! Hi, friend! Get up, sleepyhead, before Clem and I pull you out bodily. Oh, I'm getting... I'm getting... Oh, ah. oh please, You sure look fit and rugged, Stu. Oh, I certainly am. Put them up, Fred. We'll go a few rounds. You're too tough for me. Hey, don't forget the limited trout Stu and I want to send down. A couple of the neighbor kids are out catching them now. Oh. Nice big ones, remember? Stu and I toss back everything under a couple pounds. Sure. And something else, Fred. One of my boys bagged himself a cat. Cat? You mean a mountain lion? Biggest and meanest critter I've ever seen. Oh, sure glad you killed him. Yeah. Well, I thought maybe you'd like to have your picture taken with him. And the head will sure make a fine trophy. That's my boy. Drag the critter's carcass over. <laughs> sure, friend. So long. So long. So long, Stu. So long. We'll draw straws to see who shot the cat. Oh, I don't know, Fred. Sending down fish is one thing, but shooting a mountain lion. And who's going to say we didn't? We'll paint stripes on him and call him a tiger, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Long wins. Right, it's getting late. We'd better get settled. I never really appreciated Fred before. The lake sure is pretty, Fred. Oh, tell me about it. Well, the water's clear and there's just the tiniest little ripple. Oh, sounds like good fishing weather. Yeah, but right now, I don't feel like moving. Who said anything about moving? Willie! Yes? Take this down and drop it in the lake. Huh? Yes, sir, right away. Uh, Excuse me. Fred, you know, using bait is not very sporting. Smoke goes that way, too. Well, you know the old saying, smoke follows beauty. Oh, is that really the saying? <laughs> Jackie. Yes, Mommy? Have you seen a can opener? Did the pioneer women used to use can openers? No, but they didn't have tin cans, either. Oh. What's this? Oh, uh, that's my bird call record. I wanted to compare it with the real birds. And just where did you think you were going to find a big troller? Shucks, I didn't think of that. Stash 
Stand back, Jackie. Oh, goodness. Mother? Mother, guess what? We were out gathering wood for the lean-to. And listen. Come here, Mother, and listen. It's music. Hawaiian music. Maybe it's a Boy Scout camp. Maybe they'll lend us a can opener. Maybe they'll invite us to dinner. Well, come on, girls. Let's stop maybeing and find out. Careful, girls. Don't get lost. It's coming from over this way. Wait a minute, girls. I think it's this way. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. I smell fried chicken. My ears may deceive me, but my nose never. It's this way. You should go on the stage. Yeah. Hey, Mom, look at Willie. This chicken sure is a golden brown. You know that stove at home ain't in the same league. Oh, don't tell Mrs. Irwin that, Willie. Don't tell anybody anything, Willie. Honor bright, my lips are sealed. Hey, Mr. Billings, you got a fish. Well, so I have, so I have. Hey, whoa. Look! Hey, he's a beauty. Uh, take him off the hook and put him in the deep freeze, will he? Yes. That's fishing, boy. Get a load of my He-Man. What do we do, throw rocks first or just rush them? I think we'd better go back to camp and talk it over. Not me. I've heard enough about the wildlife. She's going to see someone who's really wild. Please, Betty, let's go back and talk it over. I think we should all feel a little guilty. Of course, it was unintentional, but we've been spying on the boys' vacation. Now, I should have started spying five years ago. But, Betty, Fred has you and Mary. Stu has the three of us. For 51 weeks of the year, they're surrounded by women. It must be wonderful for just one week out of the year to live with men and not even think about women. And just what do you suppose Fred was thinking about when he was doing this? Oh, they were just having fun. And I vote we leave them alone and let them have their fun for the rest of the week. But just wait until Stu gets home and starts giving with that he-man talk. I put up with it for five years, and Fred's not going to get away with it scot-free. Do you have anything in mind, Betty? Not yet, Jackie. Hmm. 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 Let's see what kind of he-men they really are. using his bare hands for us to shuffle cards. My, my, this is living. Well, this is jitter.
wrong side. Outside, something big and awful. Listen. Stop to find out. What did you see? I didn't see nothing. I heard plenty. Huh? Maybe it's the thing. Oh, listen. Whatever it was, it's gone away. <sighs> what a close shave. Yeah. Keep Pocahontas. Give Chief Petty her blankets. Is it all right for me to go back to my tent now? <laughs> sure, sure, Willie. Go ahead. Sure. Good night, sir. Good night, Willie. Indians. What is it, Willie? What happened? What did you see? Indians. Oh. Indians? Impossible. I don't believe it. Huh? Good trip, girls. Really rugged. That's me and my 18-pound bass. Why, you... Remember your promise. We let the boys have their fun. My arms were almost tricked out of their sockets. At long last, I'd hooked a killer fish. Thrashing through the water, the battle raged. Ouch! Huh? What happened to you while I was away? Uh, you'll never know, dear. <laughs> Stu, tell them how you bagged the cat. The cat? Oh, yes, the mountain lion. There I was, waist deep in the underbrush. I stopped, I listened, I looked. Go ahead, Mr. Evan, tell us more. Huh? There it is over there. Oh, I saw the two glittering eyes of that killer cat. I knew that my first shot would have to drop him. Slowly, I raised my gun, and then... <laughs> United States Air Force. A career of importance. If you plan to attend college, take a careful look at the Air Force ROTC program. As a cadet, your college life is fuller. Your horizons broaden. Training can lead to an exciting career as an Air Force officer in many different fields. 
Why don't you join the aerospace team through your college ROTC program? The United States Air Force, a career of importance. <laughs>